my mount. It's a mountain zebra and it's called it, uh, the arrangement, call it a pedestal mount because this, this is the pedestal and that's the mount. It's a, like a monument. This is a Palavan peacock pheasant. The first one. It's uh, we, we have uh, so uh, called recreation. So it means okay. that you do artificial things, look like like a wild, like a, a live one. But uh, nothing happened with the animal. You take a, a skull from the museum, cast it, and then do all sculpture work with uh, with this casted uh, skull. In 1970, he was captured in in the nature and after that uh, he lived in the zoo in Austria or Germany somewhere here and uh, after that they sent it to Moscow uh, and zoo. in uh, 2004 he died in the zoo uh, three daughters <laughs> still <laughs> in the different zoo so that's they just restore this animal <laughs> It's my first competition. I uh, may be 12 years in the business, but uh, I thought in the past, no time, no time, and now I think it's time for the competition. That's the zebra uh, from my boyfriend. Uh, he, he hunted in, uh, in the Namib, in Namibia, and I was there with him together, and I shot the other one. And uh, yeah, uh, the other one, what I should is a full mount and is in my freeze. <laughs> it, it is a very old stallion with ratchet mane and some spots on the, on the skin from fighting together with, with other stallions. And I thought that's an animal with character, an old one and, and a wild one. <laughs> And I chose that, yeah, and it was good. And some colleagues asked me, yeah, what's with the ratchet mane? And that's not, not bad for the competition. I said, no, that's the animal. This old battered head was my uncle's favorite hunting head. It has accompanied him on his hunting trips for three decades. Let this piece be a remembrance of the man who taught me so much about nature, hunting, fishing and taxidermy. Uh, I think uh, the taxidermy um, founded me. Not I found, uh, found uh, the taxidermy. It, it, it found me. Uh, um, the uh, birds and the, the old mounds and uh, uh, learned the taxidermy as a little child. I think uh, I had no choice. Uh, deep in my soul, I'm a hunter. <laughs> and, um, I, I like this feeling uh, and I like the nature and the animals in, in, in action and, um, and the animal is dead. I, I want to um, bring back the, the life. When I hunt a zebra or, the, or a client hunt a zebra, I go and make photographs from the insides of the ears and the insides of the nose. and uh, yeah. You must, you must see this, this animal, um, you must see it before you, you, um, you build it in the nature. To bring uh, the life of the birds and any other uh, animals, uh, it's a little uh, impossible thing to show it, because uh, um, a mounted bird or animal uh, never uh, can be uh, the same as the uh, living one. It's the the biggest challenge of the taxidermy. One of the biggest challenge, I think. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's easy.
Ik hoop dat hij ziet het ook, hè. Trein je niet zo? Ik dacht, ik dacht niet meer te pakken. Nee, niet meer. Dus ik moet niet heel. Zo. Well, what we look for as judges is, we, we, the criteria we use is the real animal, the real bird, the real fish, or the, the real mammal, and, and that's, that's our standard. And so we compare the species, whether, whatever species it is, to the real thing. Very nice presentation, don't you think? Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Pupils, pupils look good. They, they call it the essence of the species. You're trying to capture that essence of the species because it's it's easy just to 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 mount the fish, but to capture that look that they have that a, that a real species has. When you look at it, you go, "Well, that's a great blue heron. That he nailed that. That's a great blue heron, or you know, that that's a roe deer. That 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 deer." That's the look they have, and it's their. They they all have an essence, and if you capture that, then then you really have attained something, versus a, a stuffed deer that just looks like a mounted animal. And we have the creases in the lip line. That looks that looks quite nice, and I think the setting of the ears yeah, they're, they're, they're out they're out yeah. wide. Yeah. <laughs> Should we look in the nostrils? Yeah. Carl, what do you think? They're deep, but not deep enough. But not it's deep. Rough, yeah. Yeah. Our world championship has uh, been recognized throughout the world as the uh, greatest exhibition of taxidermy on this earth. To all of you and to all of the judges, the piece selected, the best piece of this show, is Robert Stein. <laughs> Robert Stein. Beautiful parakeet that you'll see. Not a parakeet, it's a parrot. <laughs> or a kiwi, I think it's called. Congratulations. Yes. Offside push. Offside push. Offside push. Yeah, I, I come from the back side and I didn't see any ribbon and I thought, oh, shame, <laughs> nothing. And then I go off the uh, front side and I see the ribbon and I, yeah, hi, good. <laughs> I'm happy. This is uh, the bigger one, the red and white ribbon. It's uh, the um, second place of uh, the category. Yes. <laughs> like my friend said, uh, I am an artist. <laughs> I feel uh, as uh, I'm only a person. <laughs> maybe artist, maybe just a simple man. You have to be an artist, and uh, from other uh, things, uh, you have some some parts. You you have to be a, a butcher sometimes, <laughs> and you have to be by some clients uh, a psychologist. <laughs> At everything, it's a really a, a, this profession is a big a complex a big thing and I enjoy it. <laughs>